Hello folks, and welcome back to another edition of BC Renovation Magazine. It's a cold spring day here at the uh, abandoned mobile home project. And uh, today we are going to put some trim around uh, this window. I'm going to show you how I do that in detail. And uh, that the trim we're going to put on will take this window up from sort of a mediocre window, looking window, up to something that looks very custom. And so this is a window here that I've already done. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you how we do that. So stick around. All right, so uh, the material that we're using to uh, frame around these windows, trim around these windows, is, uh, is this material here. And it is a composite material, which means it's, uh, it's, it's a wood fiber material and it's, uh, it's kind of like OSB. You can see the, uh, the flakes of board there. And, you know that's glued together and of course you know this is all for outside this is outside trim uh, it's a product that's available to us here uh, that's called uh, it's called smart trim and uh, it's often used when people put on hardy board hardy plank and uh, this is what they use to trim around the windows and stuff when they use hardy plank so a hardy plank is a cement board this material is a, is a wood product a wood composite product and so you can see it's got, uh, you know, it's got a wood grain on it, so it kind of looks like wood. And uh, it comes primed. Uh, it's a brown tan color when it's, uh, you pick it up. And uh, I have uh, pre-painted this with one coat, you know, before I apply it. And uh, I will be giving it a second coat, you know, after it's installed. So that's kind of the way I do things. You save a lot of work, uh, you know, with, with uh, your painting if you sort of pre-paint some stuff. Now the size of this is a six inch. So this is a six inch board board, and uh, it's actually you know a six a six inch measures five and a half, and this is a uh, what's called a five quarter. So a five quarter board is uh, is one inch thick. Okay, and it's also available in you know three quarter inch. Um, it's available in a four inch, an eight inch. Uh, we're going to be using an 8 inch when we do the skirting we're going to be putting an 8 inch around the whole bottom of the of the mobile home here to for the top edge of the skirting and uh, you know you can use whatever you want for this whatever size you want I, I really like the uh, the 6 inch size um, you know it's a, it's a it's a good size it looks good um, you know and it, it works it works well for me I, I really like it now if you want to you can use a 4 inch you know if you like something a little bit uh, smaller you'll save a little bit of money uh, you don't have to use this product you, you there's you know there's uh, PVC products that you can use um, you know you can just use plain old wood and uh, you know you can use like a cedar or something you just want something that's going to be good for for outdoors so this is a really uh, inexpensive way to really dress up your window and make it look you know make it look custom you know uh, like I say, this is this this is the way we're doing houses, uh, you know, million dollar houses, trimming windows in million dollar houses, and uh, that have you know like hardy plank. So I don't use hardy plank. Hardy plank's expensive, uh, you know, on these homes. Uh, it's very heavy. Each square of it weighs like 300 pounds, so it adds a lot of weight to the walls. Um, I, you know, and and so you know, for this, what I do is I use a vinyl. I like to use a vinyl siding, and then I dress it up with these these trim uh, you know trim pieces that you know make it look expensive but it's not expensive all right so I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here so if you just with these windows the windows that I'm using have this this vinyl flange on them here and you can see that the, the you know the window is nailed in to the wall you know with these uh, these are just roofing nails and you know we have this flange so you know what we can do is just put the board on like this but what you can see here is that everything is is flush and lined up it's you know it's flat here um you have the same thing on the siding side of it uh with the vinyl siding you have a piece of j trim and that j trim is an inch and so you end up with everything everything flat okay uh it looks better 
if you have the board set out a little bit and uh, if we uh, all we have to do to do that is I, I just shim it out with a piece of 3 8 plywood okay and you can see here I've just cut the uh, the plywoods I just ripped them on my table saw enough so I just leave a little bit of space underneath there so I don't have any danger of it you know getting out underneath the board and now when my vinyl siding comes up up to it here I'm gonna have a little bit of a reveal okay and the reveal is gonna look the same as as this reveal here all right so instead of having everything you know flat we get this little bit of a reveal and so this is how I do it I use uh, 3 8 plywood underneath there and uh, I'll show you as we go along here how I install this this is going to get caulked in here so no water is going to get in here this will be totally uh, weatherproof there's going to be no water get in behind here all right so I've just uh, you know cut those strips and I'm uh, nailing them on around the outside of the window on the outside of the flange all right now this flange you know with the nails and the flange it's a bit higher than the wall and so if you just put your board on the flange what happens is it's going to tip it, it'll tip it out like this so i just set it uh down like this off of the flange and then i screw it on and then you can see we have that little gap but again that gap is going to be completely weatherproof once we put this on and uh you know and then you can see that uh, we're off that flange. We don't have any problems with that flange. It just uh, makes everything flat. Okay, our board sits flat against the wall. We don't get that that tip without the uh, the flange. We, without the if we put it right on the flange, we would have a bit of a tip out on the flange. All right, so I'm going to uh, finish putting the uh, other other piece of uh, three eighths plywood. So now I recommend that you use plywood for for this shim. I wouldn't use anything else other than that. This is an exterior grade plywood. Because uh, you know it is outdoors, although it's not going to get water in there, it does take in moisture from you know just from the air. So you want to have uh, you know you want to have a uh, an exterior grade of material, and you can see it there on the grade stamp. It's upside down, but it says exterior. Okay, again, it's just three eighths of an inch, and and I find that three eighths of an inch is what you want. Uh, don't go any more. Don't go any less. It just gives you it just gives you this. This nice reveal here, okay, which is about three sixteenths of an inch, quarter of an inch. Okay, so I will uh, put some, put this other piece of uh, plywood on here, this other shim, and then I'll start putting on the, uh, the trim. All right, so I've got my uh, my shim board all nailed on now, and so I'm ready to start applying my trim. Now, there's uh, different ways to to apply this trim and I don't think there's necessarily a correct way one way or the other but um, I'm just gonna get up on the sawhorse here and show you okay so uh, like I say once we're done with this installation of this trim everything is going to be watertight here including this joint this is all going to be waterproof I'm going to show you how I'm going to take care of that how I'm going to caulk it and uh, you know make it wet watertight um, but you know uh, you can see here what I have done is my my bottom board goes through okay uh, my top board goes through as well all right and then the side boards fit in between the top and bottom board so I just have what's called a butt joint here now you can get fancy if you want and you could do a, a miter cut here uh, you know a miter cut is kind of advanced carpentry uh, they're not really that easy to do uh, a butt cut is pretty easy to do compared to a miter cut um, you know so then it's a different look you get this mitered look at each corner um, another thing that I've seen people do is you know they will put the top board on and they'll run the top board across like I have up there and then they will run the sideboards down past to here okay on both sides and then they will fit the bottom board in between the two sideboards okay so then you have a joint here instead of here now i i i guess I, the reasoning behind that could be that you know they think that water is going to get into this joint and uh, you know affect this joint i'm going to show you what i'm going to do to prevent that 
Um, and then you still have that joint up there that you can get water in the way if you do it that way. And it looks really odd because then you have a long board across the top and then you have you know these boards down the side and then you have this short board. I don't like it. Um, so you know you can do you can do whatever you want. It's up to you really uh, from uh, you know a, a technical point of view, I don't think it really matters. Uh, you know which way you do it, but uh, this is how I do it, and so I'll show you how I do it. Now to make this watertight, okay. So now this window is completely watertight around out to this outside edge, okay. You can see we've got the tar paper underneath here. The tar paper goes up underneath the trim, goes underneath the flange on the window. Any water that comes down there is going to be shed over the trim, and then it will come down onto the siding now eventually we'll be putting some building wrap on here and that the building wrap is going to go underneath this flap so any any water that comes down is going to come over this flap and it's going to come over the uh the uh house wrap that we're going to put on here and that you know that will keep that wall completely dry um and that is a uh you know that's the way you should do this compared to this where you have nothing underneath it you know, like this there's nothing underneath here um so we, when we get done, we're going to have, you know, a traditional way of doing that. Now, uh, I just wanted to show you, I, so basically these are being attached to, you know, this 3 8 OSB board. And what I'm using to attach this is drywall screws. So I'm just using, you know, just using these drywall screws here. And, uh, you know, they grip, it's a coarse thread. And so they really, you know, they really suck this uh, 3 8 plug it onto the... OSB board and then when we nail the the trim on we're going to be using a, uh, a galvanized a 15 gauge galvanized uh, pin basically is what they're called and which is like a finishing nail and uh, yes yeah, it's, it's not really a pin a pin is for smaller uh, gauge so this is a 15 gauge and so here you can see them in the magazine I'm using an air air driven uh, nailer here and uh, those are galvanized, okay, and they are, uh, you know, they're uh, rated for outside exposure. And so they will, you know, go through the trim and then they'll go through the uh, 3 8 plywood and they'll go through the uh, OSB. And, you know, they're on their, they're on their solid, no problem with that. Now the, uh, the, uh, this is what they have, uh, you know, it's just a very small little hole that's, uh, that's there, okay. Um, now this is going to get another coat of paint. So when we put another coat of paint on, it's going to fill, you know, the, those uh, little holes from the nailer. And it's also going to fill those any cracks that are in those joints. Okay, and again, those joints are, are uh, caulked. All right. So now um, I use a method that's called uh, back caulking, and uh, the caulking I'm going to be using today is uh, this material. It's made by DAP. Um, this is white. I prefer to use clear. Uh, I, can't, I can't get it clear now. In uh, the times where we're living in here, everything is shortage of this, shortage of that. But uh, I use this as Alex Plus. It is a, uh, uh, it's a, it's a, it's uh, a, you know, it's a good, it's a good grade. It's a 40-year caulking. Um, and the technique technique that I'm going to use is called back caulking. So with back caulking, what that means is um, it's. Uh, Actually, no, this isn't the, yeah, this is the one. It's got silicone in it. Yeah, so it's, it's with silicone, all right? So it's for windows and door frames. You can see it there. Uh, it's paintable, but we're not going to, you're not going to see any uh, caulking when we're done. So again, the, the technique is called back caulking. So uh, caulking is one of those things where, uh, you mean, you see a lot of jobs where, you know the caulking is smeared all over the place i mean you can see that window there is completely caulked that i showed you over there and you don't see any caulking so with back caulking what we do is uh we caulk behind the trim okay so the back side of the trim so i'll be drawing a bead of caulking along here and then my trim is going to be pushed into that bead of caulk and the bead of caulk is going to be between the window trim and the and the uh, window frame and it's going to just squish in there and it will make that completely watertight and uh, you, you don't get it you, you won't see any caulking 
So there's uh, two advantages with this is number one is your your caulking is protected It's not out in the Sun and the rain to deteriorate and also it looks it looks way better it looks way better than uh, you know having trying to caulk on the outside All right, so basically I'm just gonna caulk this here for you and show you so I'm gonna put this side on first all right, and so I'm just you know, I'm just back in there a little bit Okay, I'm trying to watch my bead and watch the camera at the same time. All right, you can see I'm just drawing a, a bead of caulking along here, just like this. All right. Okay, I'm gonna change my position on the ladder. All right, just like this. You can see I'm about, I don't know, three eighths of an inch back in there. Now that way, uh, when I push the trim into it, it's not going to squeeze out, uh, you know, out onto the front of the of the trim. All right, so I'm just like that. Okay. And so now I'm going to nail my piece of trim on, and I'm just going to push it into that. I'm just going to push it into that caulking and then I'll just nail it. That's all there is to it. All right, so let me get reorganized here. I'll get that nailed on and then I'll kind of show you where I'm at. Okay, so I got my board nailed on there. That's my first one. All right, now you can see where, you know, this, uh, uh, the trim meets the window frame. We have this little reveal. Okay, now you can see we have no squeeze out from the caulking. But the caulking, it, it's caulked. I mean, there's a nice bead of caulking in there that this board was pushed into. And uh, so that, you know, this is gonna be, this is watertight now. Uh, it gives you nice clean edges. Um, you know, if you don't back caulk, then you have to caulk on top. And so then what you do is you, you, you lay a bead of caulking in here, okay, and then you smooch it through smooth it down but then you have this ugly bead of caulking in there okay that makes it hard to paint you got to maintain that bead of caulking this way that bead of caulking is in there it's protected it'll be there for 40 years all right so i'm going to go ahead and uh put the other side on and then i'll show you how i do the top and bottom okay well, i just wanted to show you as far as nailing goes here you don't have to get crazy with nailing um so you know this is roughly four feet long and I put you know two nails up here two here two here two here so you know roughly uh, I don't know 40 inches or so apart um, now you can nail these if you don't have air equipment you can just nail it with a you know regular finishing nail again make sure you use a galvanized finishing nail to uh, you know to ensure that you um, they don't rust on you now you can see on this one, I got a little bit of squeeze out there. Okay, so right there, caulking a little bit squeezed out. So I just have a wet rag here and I'm just going to take my wet rag and uh, just wipe that out. Okay, when I put my third coat of paint on, it's gonna take care of all of that, uh, any of that caulking. Uh, again, I like to use clear for this, I prefer clear. But again, you know, I just couldn't get it this time. It's just not available. All right, so, all right, so now I'm gonna cut the uh, top boards. Uh, sorry, the, I'll start with the bottom board first, but uh, another thing I wanna show you with my nailing, is so when you're nailing, um, you wanna avoid nailing through here into the flange, okay? Uh, you wanna stay clear of that flange, so you can see that I'm nailing through here onto the board, okay? Same thing here. You know, so I'm in about an inch from the edge there and about two inches in to, you know, to avoid putting any nails into there. All right. All right, so now I'm ready to install the bottom board. And like I said, the bottom board now is gonna come through and line up with the outside edge of the side trims. And uh, so again, I've done my back caulking here. Now you can see how I've caulked the underside of that trim. All right, and then along the, the bottom of the window. All right, and uh, same thing, you know, over here underneath this piece of trim. 
Now, when, when this term goes up, it's going to push into that clock and it's gonna fill that, that joint and uh, it's gonna seal that. And then, you know, when we put the, uh, the uh, second coat of paint on, it will, the paint will fill, you know, whatever's left there, it will fill any gaps in there. All right, and uh, we have these particular windows in the middle here, we have these screws. Okay, so these screws protrude a little bit down below the frame. So what I've had to do here is on the back of the board, I've just made a notch here um, so that the screws won't, uh, you know, hit this, hit the trim. And uh, this will be uh, underneath the frame, so you're not going to see any of this. Okay, I'm going to nail this on. And then I'll do the top. The top will be done exactly the same way, except kind of upside down. All right, folks, so there we have it. We've got our window all trimmed out now. And with that, you know, with that back caulking in there, the way I showed you how we did that, you know, that's, that is all sealed now right out to the edge of the trim, watertight. And all we have left to do with that now is uh, we'll, uh, you know, on the sawn ends here that you see, um, you know, we'll just paint those. And then we'll be giving them uh, the whole thing uh, another coat of paint which is the second coat of uh, of the finished paint that gray paint and and that will that will complete it and you know we're gonna do all that painting before we put our vinyl siding on so uh, that way we don't you know we're not painting up against the vinyl siding we have everything finished painted and then we put our siding up to it and it's done it's a nice nice clean uh, nice clean ins installation that way all right folks well I hope that was helpful if uh, you got anything out of that give us a thumbs up and uh, go ahead and share that video and we'll see you in the next one bye bye